scripture scholars talk about Mark and his gospel, they make a note to point out that Mark was pretty harsh on the followers of Jesus, especially the twelve. As we hear in the gospel reading today, they did not understand the situation of the loaves that Jesus multiplied to feed the people, and on the contrary, their hearts were hardened. So in other words, they were not in a good disposition toward Jesus early on in his ministry. Why they were following him, who knows? Maybe there was some attraction, but nevertheless, they weren't convinced of who he was or what his mission was all about. I thought of this today as I reread the gospel. They didn't understand what Jesus was doing. They couldn't understand how so many people were fed with such a few amount of loaves. <clears throat> and on the contrary, their hearts were hardened. I thought of an example to show what that might be like, that we can better understand that. We don't like everybody we see or we meet. Sometimes we don't like everybody we live with. But the point is, that's okay if we don't like people. But our hearts are hardened when we decide to choose not to like them. At first, we don't like one another until we get to know one another. We get to understand the other person for who she or he is. And that's okay, that's perfectly normal. But to decide not to like a person, that's when our hearts are hardened. Because that's <clears throat> not just a decision of the mind, but it's a decision of the heart. We will choose not to like a person. So early on in Jesus' ministry, the apostles, the twelve, just couldn't get it. And Mark points that out time and time again. But little by little, and it took them a while, and maybe if we find it difficult over a long period of time to get to like someone, or appreciate someone. Maybe we can understand that that's part of human nature. The main thing is that we choose to be at one with others. To choose to get to know them. To choose to get to appreciate them for who they are. That's not easy to do. But the effort to do it is what God is asking of us. Try to see and look for the goodness in other people. Of course, people are not going to be like us. They're going to think differently. Think about the Congress. They're going to act differently from us. They're going to have different opinions from us. But at least what God asks us to do is to be open to soften our hearts, to be ready and willing to try, to be at one not only with God, 